it's it's a wonderful investment to have a Dremel tool. It's another thing I don't think I could live without. Um, and that's definitely a tool that you should be wearing safety goggles and hospital mask with because it makes a lot of dust and you don't want to be breathing that in. Um, if you want to get a little bit fancier and you want to move body parts on a model, there's some old ways to do it with flames of candles and using hot water and putting the model in it and waiting for the plastic to soften up. But a lot of people, myself included, have found that heat tools work really, really well. This is um, a Nicole Crafts heat tool that I got from AC Moore Arts and Crafts. You can also get these from Michaels and some of the bigger art stores that have some scrapbooking materials. This is this runs in the $25 range. If you can get a coupon for one of your local craft stores, grab a coupon, get it half off for yourself. It's worth it. Um, and this you can take and you can heat the plastic for the models and bend different body parts, which I did here with this full. I heated up um, this area here and bent the, the head this way. One thing to be careful with with these heat tools is they're very hot, especially towards the tip, and they also can damage the plastic if you take the tool and hold it in one place and let it do this. Because what will happen is you'll get bubbling in your plastic where the heat tool touches because it's so hot. Make sure you take your heat tool and you go up and down this way, back and forth over the whole area that you want to move. You, it might take a while, especially with the bigger models, but definitely put some distance between the tool and also the, um, the model itself. I can plug this in also and show you how it works. Okay, I'm going to take the heat tool and I'm going to take this unsuspecting Belgian stable mate and make him really, really angry looking by taking the heat tool and heating it on his ears and pushing them back a little bit. The stable mates, it takes a lot less time to heat up than the larger models because the plastic is a lot thinner. So as you see, I'm going to go back and forth in the area because you don't want the heat to concentrate in one area too long and bubble your um, plastic because then you'll end up making a lot more work for yourself having to go in and fill it. And doing this also, it allows you so you're not going to burn your skin because the heat is, again, not concentrating in one area. And you can keep testing. Like you can see there, it's definitely not ready. in time because um, it takes a while for the plastic to heat up. But it's starting to melt here. So I can start bending this one ear back. Let's see. And then you just hold it in place. Shut off your tool. Hold it in place, and now his ears bent backwards like he's mad. So it takes it takes a lot of time to heat the plastic and move it where you want it to go. But it, it's a great tool if you want to do some basic um, moving of different body parts. And um, I did it with this here. This is a Silky Sullivan model that I used a handsaw and cut the tail from the back of the leg and then I used my heat tool and went back and forth over this area here and then pushed the tail so it was down the middle of his body. So you can use that for like I said legs and ears and tails and all those sorts of different um, areas. Also make sure when you're done using your tools that you unplug them so you don't have any issues later on. Um, so now that we've gotten over the basic parts of different things that you can use for seams and, and ears and things like that, um, now you might want to do some filling. Um, one of my favorite things to use, which is very, very smelly, and this is where the hospital mask comes in, is Bondo. Bondo makes this great glazing and spot putty that you can buy at Walmart or your um, auto body shop. And it runs for around the four to five dollar range. And make sure you get the one that says glazing and spot putty because this is wonderful for p filling pinholes, scratches, and minor dings, as it says on the packaging. This is very toxic. Make sure you have a well ventilated area that you have gloves on your hands and that you have on your hospital mask. And you can even put on your safety goggles if you think that you need that because it may make your eyes water. Um, this comes out, and I usually, you can buy a set of spatulas that Walmart also sells. You can buy them sometimes right in the same department as the Bondo in the auto section, or you can buy these um, sometimes in the paint section or hardware section. And this is great if you have a large area that you want to squeeze them out onto 
your spatula and then slap it on the model and um, smooth out. You can also use your gloves so you can smooth it out with your fingers as well and just make sure you throw those gloves away when you're done with them. I use the um, the Bondo on this model here. I had turned the head and it had made some imperfections so I've taken Bondo and I'm now going down and it's sandable so when you sand it after it's dried it looks something like this. This is the horse that I had ripped the mane off of this side and I'm going in now and filling in those small areas of imperfections. It, it works really great on um, resins. A lot of resins will sometimes come from the caster with a lot of pinholes in them and just a little bit of this and it fills all those pinholes and you can just use your sanding pad and sand it right down and refill as you need it. Um, one thing that I will talk about um, also that's a little bit in, more inexpensive than Bondo and is a lot less toxic is modeling paste. Um, you can also get this at your local art store. It's in the art department with the um, artist paints and the painting mediums, usually with the acrylic paint. Um, and this is something that is a lot less toxic. So you can take a paintbrush and put it on small areas. You may have to do more coats of it than you would with the Bondo because it's not quite as thick. You can see here what it looks like. I use this for small areas. I also use it for mixing with my regular paints as well for non-model related paintings. But this is a great thing too to fin fill some pinholes and some small areas of imperfection. This I want to say it's, it's pretty expensive. It's a lot more expensive than the Bondo. It's also in the $25 price range. Again, use your coupon if you can.